Okay, so today you'll notice something different. Oh, disaster. Right? No. This is the disaster. This is me photographing all my Mega Man X stuff for you guys in the museum. So I'm going to do a quick review on one of these figures today. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys the the coolest Mega Man figure of all time. It's the Mega Man X3 Chimera Ride Armor model kit figure. Uh, this actually has two different versions. Um, it can mold into the Chimera, which you see here, or the um, Hawk Armor from Mega Man X3. And most of the characters that have model kits come from Mega Man X3. Um, here's Vile, for example. Um, <clears throat> so let me just show you some of the features of this awesome figure. Um, one of your model kits can sit in here and actually can pull out, obviously. And you can see that it's just a hole for the characters to sit in. Um, then you have the giant fists on here that can actually come off if you need to. And then inside these little capsules here are other little things. These don't appear in the game, um, but they're just, this is a claw you can put on here, like so. And then the other fist has a gun, and it just, so it just flips open like this. Not too easily, but... And there's your gun. So kind of weird that they added those little bits, but they just wanted to throw some extra things in. Um, just amazing. The recreation of it is, is very authentic. And uh, let me just show you how to transform the Hawk armor. Uh, you take the fists off, and actually these whole arm pieces come off. So they just pull right off. And the kit is very easily assembled. Um, I used to have one mint in box and then I sold it. And that guy opened it and made his own. Because I don't know if you can really keep it in the package. I mean, it's just so cool to have it um, assembled that it's difficult to keep it sealed. Um, but, yeah, unless you have another one. Um, so let me put on the parts. The extra parts that make up the um, Hawk armor actually create this little vehicle that X can stand on. It's pretty dumb. But, uh, okay, so he sits on these little pegs on the Hawk's armors. Um, oh yeah, and these figures fall apart all the time. He sits on the little pegs on the Hawk armor's booster, and then his little um, controls here fit into there and see it just kind of he sits on this little thing and it's a little vehicle again doesn't appear in the game it's just something that they added um, all they really needed to add was the pegs and a place to set the controls on so there's a little bonus um, for that so let's take that off so the guns you see here go on the hands let me just show you that um, the back part here that is unused on the Chimera armor turns into the Hawk armor's um, booster, and that can flip up for no reason and kind of flip down for no reason because that doesn't really move in the game. That's just your booster. So. Um, get these on here. They just fit on the pegs. See the end just fits on the peg here. And then there's one more thing I need to add and then it'll be the hawk armor again because the shoulder pads come off. And they have special shoulder pads for the hawk armor because it does have its own 
shoulder pads. So there you go. Um, and then X can sit in there like that. So very cool. You can put all your figures in there. I chose X because, well, he uses them most of the time. Um, and these actually have, let me just take this part off, uh, the, the little guns, because they actually shoot, uh, they don't shoot very well. But um, you can see them in here. These are little discs. Um, let me take one of them out. Little firing discs that they have. And uh, you just wind them back. Then you hit this and, well, yeah, see, it doesn't work very well. Um, it gets easily jammed. Maybe if they have less things in them. It comes with a whole slew of them. I mean, each each turret is packed with this many little discs. I think there's like 16 or something, maybe. Maybe more than that. So let me try to fire one off with just one. No, it's jammed. Something's wrong. Well, this happens. Let's see if I can find The discs are a little big for the little area that it has to shoot it out of. And then the spring doesn't work very well. So the little this little part gets jammed really easily. So let me see if the other one's working. Um. <laughs> Parts flying everywhere. Okay, let's see if this one works any better. No, it won't shoot it out. So it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. Um, but uh, that could just be that the springs are damaged, or probably not damaged, just something's jammed up. Because it doesn't. You can see right here, the the piece that shoots it doesn't move very far. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you say I saw that, but it shot out of that one. Let me do it again, just for, there you go, really weak shot, but uh, whatever, if you miss him you can just go punch him. So uh, that is the Mega Man X3 Ride Armor uh, Chimera and Hawk versions, and then the little ship that, that came with it. So um, possibly the coolest, I mean it's the coolest Mega Man item in my collection. Um, they're very rare. They cost about maybe $200 in the package if they're sealed. Uh, maybe $150 if they're assembled. Um, very, very rare. I see a couple of them on eBay every once in a while, but they're overpriced. Um, Yahoo Japan Auctions, typically they have maybe one or two up. Um, but it's few and far between. It's a rare item. So if you find one, uh, kudos to you. And if you have one, even better, because they're just the coolest thing ever. So thanks for watching. Bye.